Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. We are doing something kind of crazy tonight. Um, in honor of our 50th video, which this is, um, we've decided to shoot after midnight. Uh, <laughs> and at the moment, the sprinklers have come on, which is why I'm like dodging. But uh, it's actually nice and quiet. There's no construction. <laughs> the sun isn't baking my paint. <laughs> this is all awesome. So, and we can see the monitors and everything very clearly. It's actually easier to control light in a dark environment by adding light than it is to try to block sunlight that's unpredictable. So, this is kind of fun. Anyways, we're gonna do a, <laughs> a pour on an 18 by 24 canvas. Um, this is a gal gallery wrapped artist loft canvas, level three. I love these. Nice, sturdy, thick, solid, amazing canvas. And if you have to re-pour on it, it's not a big deal, I can take it. So as soon as that sprinkler stops, then I'm gonna step back over here. Okay, so let me show you my colors real fast. Um, this one is Grumbacher Alizarin Crimson. Very, very pretty color. Um, I haven't played with reds too much lately. I did for a while and my studio looked like a crime scene because there was red everywhere and it kind of like put me off a of red for a bit. But I think I'm ready to dive back in because I have some really pretty ones. That one included is Alizarin Crimson by Grumbacher. And all my paints are mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. They uh, leave a small mound on a mound on a mound on a mound on a mound. So put Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish in, pour some paint in, mix it up, add a little bit of water, then I add my Floetrol. This one is also Grumbacher. This is Prussian Blue, one of my latest loves. Thank you, Sarah Mack. Just amazing color and it dries so beautiful. And I've tried the Golden's Prussian Blue, I've tried the Grumbacher, and they're pretty close, so that's good. If you can't find the Golden somehow, use the Grumbacher one. The Liquitex uh, Prussian Blue is also beautiful. So this one is Artist Loft Titanium White, mixed with a little bit of satin enamels. Little tiny mound on a mound on a mound. Okay, this one is Golden's Iridescent Bronze. It's a little bit thinner than everything else, just because this is one of their fluid, you can see the wind. <laughs> But this is still a tiny mound on a mound on a mound. Not sinking. And my favorite Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Yay, and the crowd goes wild. Love this stuff, my baby. And then, um, so that was gonna be my palette, just those five. And then I thought it really needed something darker and I didn't really wanna use black. So I went with my Van Dyke Brown and I made just a little tiny cup so I will use very small layers. I don't want to use a lot. Um, one thing I have noticed lately as I've been pouring and playing and I tend to mix 16 ounce cups. So if I have, I need 15 ounces for this size, there's five colors, it's about three ounces of each color are in here. There's 10 ounces of paint. So obviously I can pour it more than once. And usually if I'm not crazy about the first pour and I tilt it and I still have paint, I will pour again. So, and I've noticed that that second one is usually better. Maybe it's because the canvas is already coated and everything extra has been tilted off and there's this nice smooth surface, but I may do that. So I'm just warning you, <laughs> I might pour it again if I'm not crazy about it. Uh, the other thing, Dirty Artist, I saw her video last night with the horse and the, the dust pan. It was just so cool, it was so pretty. And then even after that, she was swiping and I just, it was gorgeous. So I really wanna play with that. I might, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, I told you my paints, I told you my pouring medium, 18 by 24 gallery wrapped canvas, 15 ounces of paint necessary for this, and let's do a cup. Okay, so I did a test piece and I loved it. And from using the bronze in the past, I know that I wanna use very thin layers because if you use a lot of that all at once, it leaves like this big, it can get muddy, it can get weird. So thin layers to separate the, the pop colors. That's what I really wanna do. So I think I wanna start with a little bit of gold in the bottom of the cup, just a little bit. Not a lot of, very thin layer. Okay, and then I wanna go with Prussian blue. Hello, sprinkler. <laughs> I'll take sprinklers over jackhammers any day. Okay, so there's our Prussian blue. Then let's go in with some of the bronze, just a little tiny layer. 
and I want to put a little bit of red, the alizarin crimson. Actually, I'm going to put a nice layer of that in. Then I'm going to put some 24 karat. You hear the coyotes? <laughs> You get owls up here at night too, it's really cool. Okay, and I'm gonna come in with a little bit of Van Dyke Brown. Just a little bit, not a lot. You see, it's a very small layer. Then, let's see, let's go to our bronze again. Again, small layer, not a lot. <laughs> They're triangulating their position. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back to the red. And put a tiny bit of gold. And in my test piece, I had blue next to the white, and I didn't like it. So I'm not going to do that, even though, like, my brain is saying, put white in, because it's a lot of contrast between the blue and the white. But I didn't like how it turned out. It was not, wasn't good. So let's go with a little tiny bit of bronze again. And a sprinkler. Now I'm going to put the white in after the bronze and we're gonna go a little bit of gold <laughs> coyote surprise video <laughs> okay those are in crimson a little bit of bronze I'm gonna do some of the Van Dyke Gold. I'm actually going to do some blue first. Eh, my feet are already wet. What the hell? I don't want to see. I keep wanting to put that. That's so funny. Okay, now we already did that one. Okay, so we'll go bronze. And then we'll go white. See how I'm sandwiching that white between the gold? Because I don't want pink and I don't want baby blue. Okay. And then I'm going to put a nice amount of Van Dyke on top of that. Okay. So I still have paint left. <laughs> I didn't use a lot of crimson. Okay. So that's that part. Let's bring this over here. Mind frame. No, I'm going to put my hair up real quick. Okay. Alright. So, I'm going to pour a little puddle of gold in the center. And I'm going to put a little bit on the corners. Because I never mind that uh, lovely little gold cells popping up. I'll spread that out a little bit. You think it's so sparkly at night. <laughs> Awesome. All right. That's cool. We'll see you in a few minutes, maybe. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to do a straight pour into the center and keep my hand free. I'm just going to hold this like this. Here we go. You ready? Okay. Hello, wind. Oh, that was pretty.
stuck my finger in. But that's okay. It's actually kind of cool looking. Okay. All right. See, this is very pretty. I like it. Just sort of stretch it out a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I want to put some white around the outside of it. But I want to thin this out just a little bit first because it's kind of thick. Let me get a little cup. I'm just going to go around the edge of this. That's pretty cool how that works. <laughs> just a little tiny corner of there showing. Rather than trying to tilt and go insane, I'm just going to take a little bit of what's left in the bottom of my cup, which apparently there's quite a bit in there somehow, and go over that corner. And I'm going to do the same thing right here. Okay, so now let's look at it. I want to take everything here and pull it down this way because I love all of these lines. I do like the little bit of solid red though. The one thing that I am not crazy about, I'll show you. So, I like everything about this. Actually, I'm not crazy about that, but again, instead of ruining my composition, take the dregs of what's left in my cup and use it to my advantage. Because that's going to look cool. I'm going to wipe my hands off a bit. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I like all of this. Except for one part. I don't like this. But that's okay. Because that gives us a perfect opportunity to swipe. Like Dirty Artist is doing. So I'm excited about this. So let's go ahead and try it once. Without putting any other paint on there. And see what we get. I'm just going to come right in here. And swoop it. that. I like it better in any case. Um, let's torch it and see what happens. Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna get my other torch. Huh? Like the other torch. That's right. You'll see if we come get any cells coming up in here. <laughs> 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 Shit. 
That's for you, baby. That's for you. God bless. Yeah, I figured that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sparky, relax. Okay, so that's that. That's cool. Um, there's only one little thing I want to do. I'm just going to kind of continue the lines that are here and sort of draw them in a little bit. To sort of more closely match this sort of like fingerling thing that's happening in there. And then I'm going to go the other way and stretch these out just a touch. Cool. There's just one thing that I don't like. Yeah. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like it a lot. And then when that dries, it's going to be really, really neat. I like it. I'm going to leave it there. So that's awesome. I've been wanting to do something with the red and the Prussian blue for a long time. I think this is going to turn out really neat. I am... No, I'm not going to do anything else to it. I'm going to leave it alone. Except for this. Because that's bothering me. Where's my stick? <laughs> there it is. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to leave it alone. After this. I'm done. Um, but since I do have a lot more paint left, I do have a little tiny 10 by 10 canvas. I want to pour that for you too real quick. It only going to take a second. So stay tuned one second. Here we go. Okay. So 10 by 10 canvas. What are we going to do? Um, this one, put a little bit of gold in. Some... Prussian blue, then a little bronze, just a little bronze, really not a lot, more red, a bit of gold, a touch of the brown, a little bit of white, bronze, Prussian blue, This is already way too much paint. For a 10 by 10, you probably need three ounces of paint. Oh, it's a five ounce, no, nine ounce cup. So, all right, we're gonna, a little bit more Van Dyke Brown. I think that's it. Okay, I'm gonna put a little tiny puddle of gold in the middle. And let's pour this. Pinch the tip. Here we go. We're gonna do a ring pour. That's pretty. It's so sparkly at night. <laughs> okay. That's really cool. Can you zoom in on that?
Well, see, that's the test. The paint's barely moving when you tilt it. So, it means we are done. There's a little bonus pour. <laughs> that's really cool. I really like that Prussian blue with the bronze. And you don't see the Van Dyke brown. You don't look at this and go, oh, there's a lot of brown in there. But that's, again, creating shadows and depth, which is really cool. It's awesome. I really like that a lot. So. That's it for this one, and that one. <laughs> um, I will bring you in for some close-ups because these are really, really pretty at night. So, And then I'll show you when it's dry. I'll see you in a bit. Thank you. I love these little pearly <laughs> ribbon candy. I don't know what you want to call them. Fingerling. I don't like fingerling. Strange. <laughs> like seaweed fronds. <laughs> Very pretty. And I love this in here but this part right here where you see these like beautiful pops of that gorgeous prussian blue and then it gets into the gold with some white and then that gorgeous alizarin crimson is very very pretty and over here again the crimson and the red, the gold mixing together with just a tiny bit of white that really really fine line it's just so pretty and then when it dries it's going to be gorgeous this is really beautiful in here this separation where it all stretched out a little bit and you can see all look at how many lines are in here There's <laughs> like probably a hundred lines in that two inch section very very cool the swipey part is going to turn out really really neat i think when it's it's already getting a few more cells coming up in there and and some in there it's really it's pretty so it's interesting i'm still not at that one little edge i don't know and I'm tempted to mess with it, but I don't want to mess with it. <laughs> Good call. So, I like this one. I like the, the movement in here. I like this part. It's kind of Dr. Seussy almost. And this is sort of very pretty, this little waterfall or like hair. I love this section right there. It's very, very pretty too. And this is gorgeous. That Prussian blue is just an amazing color. And it's really neat with the alizarin crimson and the bronze. I like that a lot. And then the gold is really pretty too. So let's over move over to this little one. I love these lines and I love how they opened up and you can see in between and you can see all the different metallics in there. It's very, very cool. This one right there, that part with the Prussian blue and the bronze, very cool. And then in here where it mixed with the white a little bit, you still see the bronze and then we get into the gold and then the crimson was in there and it hit the white somehow because it got a little pink. That's okay. <laughs> and then over here you see the gold mixed with the Prussian blue and gave us sort of a greenish tint and then in here that dark dark Prussian blue just ah, gorgeous love it 